Welcome to another video and today we're going to take a quick look at the ESP32 hall sensor and attempt to use it for the classic bike speedo approach transmitting our data through Bluetooth to the TTGO watch for display. Just a quick prototype of the product with a few parts but goes to show just how much you can achieve with the power of Arduino and the ESP platforms. So we're going to need a power supply on our bike and our bike light handily is also a USB power pack so we can just plug into that. We've got our ESP32 and a USB lead so we can link that to our power pack and program it. And we've got the Lilygo watch which we're going to use as our display for this but of course you could use any other ESP device with a screen. And we're going to need some tape just to hold this together while it's a quick prototype. And then finally, we're going to need a magnet. This is a very strong one we found in an old moving hard disk drive because the whole sensor isn't massively sensitive. And it's located under the metal shield on your ESP as shown here. So if we just upload the software example, you can just wave your magnet over the board and you'll see the dial moving. And of course, if you wanted to tune and adjust your values or visualize what's happening with the magnet you can use the serial debugger in Visual Micro and this also works over Wi-Fi as well so you could actually put this on your bike and then test this out to do your debugging in situ as it were so it's very useful for that as well as we can see here we're just gonna turn the watch on as you've got to turn the watch on after the ESP that's on the bike of our simple Bluetooth attachment from the examples and then we'll wave the magnet over the sensor as shown in the previous clip and we should see the data coming in and being plotted on the plot charts so you can use this to fine-tune the sensors and the values to suit your needs and as we say this is only a quick prototype just as a proof of concept really don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and do please check out the other videos on our channel for everything about Arduino and Visual Micro. So here it is on our bike, actually mounted and spinning now. And there's about a 5mm gap between the ESP and the magnet as it sails past on the spokes. And as you can see it all works reasonably well for a, a quick go. And I'm sure it can be improved in the future with additional sensors depending on what you're doing on your bike.